everyone and welcome back to the channel and for today's video we will be looking at the uh, custom that I made for the uh, Siege Soundwave um, so yeah let's get started um, as you can see here we have a uh, sound wave as well as a uh, laser beak on um, on laser beak I did minimal work um, the um, the silver on the wings and the red on the wings was already there the um, as well yeah as well as this the silver bits right here all i did was just paint some some silver on um on like uh the, on his legs here and his feet on the bottom this is a peg that flips out so i painted that silver these are uh, rear thrusters i also painted and this part underneath his, his um, I don't know what this is, <laughs> but uh, I painted uh, what's underneath there, uh, uh, silver as well, and his neck, I also painted silver, and like I mentioned, this peg that flips out. And yeah, pretty simple on, uh, on laser beak here. This is what it looks like. Transformed. No big deal. But let's move on to Soundwave. Soundwave. Now Soundwave does have a lot of um, paint on them um, what I wanted to do was uh, replicate the look of the uh, G1 toy um, I uh, I had that toy um, it was one of the first transformers that I had so Soundwave um, has a, a special place in my heart you could say uh, so yeah, I wanted to replicate that on uh, this figure. Um, so this came out first, then came out a uh, the Earthrise version was the which was the actual uh, tape deck version, but I don't have that one. Uh, no, I, uh, I'm sorry, it was the Netflix exclusive um, that came out with the um, as a tape deck. This transforms into a uh, like a spaceship. Which we'll see, which we will see later. But as far as what I gave him uh, for paints, um, so I painted the forearms silver. Uh, I painted the uh, legs silver. Uh, both were a. Um, let me see here. They were a, a grayish color plastic that you can see inside uh, right here. It was all that grayish color. So the uh, forearms, the legs I painted. The red detail, the red, the red stripe, and these red uh, squares, I added those. Uh, they, I mean, these were on the figure before, but they were like a, not this, uh, but this stripe around his forearm. Uh, it was like a purplish color. Um, so I, on, on the figure, on the original toy, uh, the G1 toy was red, so I painted that red. This uh, uh, silver detail on the on the shoulders, I painted that. I painted this detail right here, these tiny vents, black. I also based a little bit on the um, 
of the masterpiece uh, from Takara. Uh, you know, picked out some uh, some details there as well. Um, I painted this shin, the shins black. These were already black, but they had uh, a lot of this battle damage that uh, silver paint splatter that's all over the uh, all over the figure. On this particular figure, uh, for at least for me, uh, for me, I wasn't able to remove it because uh, unlike uh, the uh, Megatron, which when I used the uh, ninety-one percent uh, alcohol isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I was able to remove it, but on, on Soundwave, for some reason, I was just unable to do so. So in certain spots, I just painted over it. So like here on the shins, these were black covered with the um, the battle damage. So I just painted uh, them black. Here you can see on the sides, there's some detail there. Uh, where all of this was covered with, with the, uh, the battle damage, so I, I just painted over it in black. I painted uh, these spots right here, painted that black, painted this. The uh, feet um, on the original toy, they were made of die cast, like a a gunmetal color die cast, so I painted the uh, the feet gunmetal. So underneath, this gold detail was already there, as well as all of this underneath. Um, up here by the neck, this uh, piece right here. I also painted in gunmetal this piece that flips back and forth depending on uh, if it's in uh, a ship mode or robot mode. Um, so I painted that uh, gunmetal. These were already painted. I may have painted the little spots here that these things that come down. I'm trying to remember since this was done, you know, last year early last year so I'm not entirely sure I don't really remember if I painted these I'm pretty sure I painted just these and the thrusters were already painted uh, in a uh, gunmetal this is the back of the figure these uh, detail at the back of the legs and when you flip out this part for the transformation, we have this detail that's uncovered. I also painted uh, gunmetal since they're kind of almost supposed to represent the bottom of the feet. And the back of the legs. And if we open up his uh, backpack. You'll see this detail here. I was painted um, gunmetal and uh, silver on both sides. There's this hinge here, at the bottom of the of his back, that I painted uh, gunmetal, but. Since it's a hinge, uh, transformation transformation hinge, that you do see somewhere there's some paint uh, rub off. But since it's not visible most of the time, you know, we wouldn't even know that that the paint has worn off. You can see more detail here. And some detail on these hinges over here as well. Uh, in a gun metal and then silver on these. They look like springs. Nothing on the face. 
And that was already, uh, the mask was already silver. Uh, as well as these parts on the side of the, of the mask. On the um, on the shoulder rocket here, uh, again I painted the the red stripes. They were like a purplish color, same as for his handgun here. I did paint the uh, the tip of the the gun. Uh, I actually painted this now that I remember with chrome. It's a chrome paint. Uh, spray paint, a chrome spray paint. It kind of does have that reflective mirror chrome look from the original toy. Pretty sure it's it's not rubbing off on me, so I guess it's finally cured. As I mentioned in the previous video, when uh, on, when I was talking on the, about the Optimus Prime, um, some um, some of the paints that I used um, and the, when trying to find the right chrome, some of it would rub off. Uh, but I think on this one, it stayed there. yeah you know uh, the uh, the eject button <laughs> it works and I also painted that and uh, let's see well that's about it as far as the uh, uh, you know these this, uh, these hinges on the hips that's it as far as sound wave in robot mode and now I'm going to attempt to transform the figure. I say attempt because I haven't transformed him since probably since I painted him. And I'm not sure I remember the entire sequence. Oh, there's some detail there on the uh, on the forearm as well, right, right there. So yeah, let's see if I can uh, get them transformed. Let's see if I remember correctly. I don't even remember the order. Um, let's see. I know that this needs to be flipped around. Well, I need to flip the feet in. This out. Okay. So the feet get covered and we have this detail show and then um, these get together now these flip over and cover the uh, thighs now there's some detail there I, I think I showed it yeah I think I did Okay, and then we have to loosen this part up, and then release. I have to hide the head. And then this goes. release the shoulders these go up this comes down these stay either up or sideways however you wish then these flip out you see that hinge that I mentioned and you can uh, see some of the paint rubbing off But it's only visible in this mode. Um, then we flip the. Uh, we should have done this before. Let's see. These uh, 
tab in there. And then this comes up here. Okay. The arms come down. And then we've got to hide the fists. These come out. Let's see. Um, and then come out like this. Go on the inside. Okay, you have to come looking like this. The, hand, the arms, the forearms, then these tap together as well as these. this going on these come out to the front we've got the hands that are sideways here there we go and this is <laughs> the arms coming apart and this is um Siege uh, Soundwave in his freighter mode, space freighter. I don't know what, exactly what they call them. And here you'll see um, some of those details. Some of those details that in robot mode you don't see. Which, like I mentioned, the, this part here that covered the the feet. So I decided to, you know, paint those in the gunmetal, the same color as the feet. Um, we have the, um, these come out that were hidden, uh, you know, in uh, robot mode. Well, not hidden, but you know, not visible from the front. So I paint, you know, painted this uh, gunmetal as well. There's this, there's this piece here that serves like an antenna in this mode but when i was painting the figure i guess i forgot because i really i didn't i mean i guess i barely have it in this mode but uh this flips out and over but i never painted on the other side of the uh of the antenna let me see if i can get this out I never painted the other side as you can see the, the color of the plastic the gray plastic <laughs> so I completely forgot that this piece flipped out so I just painted over it you know and left it like that you know it goes all the way up you know sticks out this way but I think it looks better like this, you know. And it's just a cool detail on the side. Um, and that's pretty much all that is there. I mean, I guess I could have gone in there and painted uh, these spots here. You know, maybe later on I'll add, you know, some silver here. Some black. You know finish off the uh, the look so yeah that's pretty much it there's the other mode that's the um, the lamppost mode but it's not really worth it um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much it uh, for uh, what turned out to be this custom um, just um, the colors 
the paints that I used for this uh, figure are uh, the, let's see, I have, so this was the silver that I used for, you know, the thighs and the forearms. Uh, craftsman, craft smart uh, silver, regular silver, and then uh, for the uh, gun metal, I used the folk art. There you go, gun metal gray. Uh, so all of these were uh, just applied there's actually no finish on these um, not that I remember I'm pretty sure that there isn't and the um, the paints you know like are pretty durable of course if I were to attempt to scratch it uh, with my fingernail uh, the paint would come off but obviously I don't want to do that um, you can see maybe around these pegs here, if we get close enough, maybe we will see some paint rubbing off. Because although it doesn't look like there is paint rubbing off from those. So the paint went on pretty good here. Oh, I see a spot right there. It's actually down here. But um, for the most part, you know, the paint stayed on when I applied the, these pegs, uh, flipped them over and pegged it in there. Uh, so I guess the, um, the paint was uh, durable enough to resist uh, pegging back and forth. So just goes to show that, um, you know, these, uh, you know, CraftSmart Paints, you know, craft paints that you can you can buy at a at a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby. Uh, you know, these all of these paints work for your customs. Um, you don't need to. Oh well, this bummer. I guess this just rubbed off right now as I was transforming. Yeah, just as I was about, just as I was praising it, you see right there. Just as I was praising the paints, we have some paint rub. Although, again, it's hidden behind these skirts, so you're not really gonna see it. But you know, like I said, you know, if you're just starting off and not worried too much about spending a lot of money, you know, these paints are good value. Um, you know, just in the, in the case of these uh, scratch marks here, uh, for, you know, I can just flick the, that excess off and you know just paint uh, a touch up on it and got some, got some, some accidental splashing here on the on the back side of the fist. Um, but yeah, you know these uh, craft paints, you know they're good for you know. Just getting started with the hobby, and like again, this this figure was released what three years ago, two years ago, something like that, two three years ago, and I almost immediately went and uh, painted it. There we go. And um, so starting off with uh, you know these um, crafts paints. You know, for the most part, they're going to do their job. Again, in certain areas that aren't exposed to like tabbing and uh, rubbing with other parts and all of that, you know, they're going to do their job, you know. Just uh, if I would have added a clear, probably would have protected it uh, from the uh, from that little scratch that I had. And um, But yeah, other than that, you know, you don't have to get started with it. really expensive paints. Although they do work, right?
Um, so yeah, that's it pretty much for this uh, custom. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you on the uh, next one.